Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be saddling six inch pipe to eight inch pipe on a 45. If you've been following along, you know that we've done this once before. And this time we're gonna do something a little bit different to make things go a little bit faster. I'm also gonna be sharing with you a little trick on laying back your saddles in a nice, even, fashionable way without taking out too much to get a real nice fit. This actually works on anything, just shortening a piece of pipe with a grinder, but doing it in a nice, even, methodical manner. So the project we're working on in today's video is another eight inch entryway. It's a combination of a couple that we've done here on this channel. It's getting the six inch pieces on a 45, which is what we're working on today, but it's going to be getting the four and a half inch OD gates that we built for a different entryway. If you're new to the channel, I have to let you know about the AROS welding inner circle. The inner circle is one of several things that my wife, Kayla, has built for the AROS welding brand, if you will. Kayla does all the back end stuff for this YouTube channel, the AROS Welding store, the AROS Welding website. Kayla is the reason that this YouTube channel exists. I'm just the ugly guy that you get to see and hear from every week, but Kayla is what keeps everything moving in the background. She's amazing, she's very smart, and she has huge vision and great ideas. All that to say, she created the AROS Welding Inner Circle. We both created it obviously, but she's the one that had the vision, had the idea of the community. It stemmed from whenever we were pipeline welding. In short, it's kind of similar to a social media platform for welders, rig welders, small business owners, etc. Like I said, it stemmed from whenever we were pipelining. So there are circles for people that are from Canada and there are circles for pipeline wives, circles for rig welders, there are circles for small business owners, several other circles, but we've got a vision for the inner circle or parts of the inner circle that could actually grow into something more. But right now, to be quite frank, it's kind of slow. I believe there's, last I knew there was roughly 70 members in the inner circle. Could be more, could be less, but not all of them are super active. They might get on there, but they don't engage much. So there's a, there's a good handful of them that do engage but it's still rather slow because we don't talk about it much and it didn't do exactly what we thought it would do whenever we first created it. So we've kind of, it's kind of got put on the back burner just by default. There's still value there, I think, in my opinion. We hope to actually put out a kind of like a questionnaire to those are, that are in it right now to kind of get some feedback from them because like I said, we have a huge vision for it. But for now, I just wanted to let you know about it in case you had no idea about the AROS Welding Inner Circle or anything else that happens behind these YouTube videos. You can find the AROS Welding Inner Circle on our website, aroswelding.com, under the Education tab, maybe it's got its own tab, or it's under the Resources tab. aroswelding.com, hit that plus sign at the top right if you're on mobile, and you'll see the list of that I'm calling tabs, and you can check out the Inner Circle over there. Like I said, this entryway is a combination of a couple of different entryways that we've done Previously, we're gonna have a 15 foot wide entryway by the time the gates are installed, as well as 15 foot of height in clearance. That's anticipating putting five foot of the uprights in the ground. But at the top of each upright on this entryway, it's getting four six inch pieces of pipe on a 45. So to do that, we have to saddle a six inch pipe on a 45, make sure it's fitting real nice. And then the plan is to build a template. That way it doesn't take near as long to make these four pieces. A few tools that we're gonna be using on this project is the Pipe Fitters Blue Book that you can find in the online AROS welding store, a center finder, a hammer, a short piece of angle, I believe this is inch and a half by inch and a half angle, and this here is referred to as pipe wrap. We'll be using that also. So the first thing I did was lay out one saddle from the Blue Book so we've actually made a video already going into more depth on how to read the blue book and laying out this six inch on a 45. We will put a link in the description so you can go check out that video to know what we're doing here to get the first couple of saddles laid out. But in short, I use the center finder to line up my quarters, if you will. This keeps my saddles lined up. Use the piece of angle to make my marks. And then I use the pipe wrap to connect all my dots once I've pulled my measurements from my reference line. And because last time I did this, I had to do quite a bit of uh, grinding in my 
throats right here. If you just noticed, I went ahead and cut on that side of the line. I could really stand to probably do quite a bit more, but I'm going to not or try not to get ahead of myself here. Once I got both sides laid out and cut out, I took my piece over to the entrance and seen how it fit. All right, so I went and fit it up and I laid out where I needed to grind and where I didn't need to grind. Where my X's are is where I need to grind and where I put DG means don't grind. That way I get as close as fit as possible. Oh, look who it is. Hey. I know you're looking for a mouse. I know that's what you're doing. Yeah, that's what he's doing. That's what we're gonna tell ourselves. All right, Kev, good luck to you. Thanks for your help. Anyway, so I'm gonna get to whittling on this, take it out there, see how it fits. The goal is to get this one fitting perfectly and then make a template. So the way that I've learned to gauge how much I'm taking off is I'll actually take the center pad and I'll put it up right here at an angle where I need to grind right here where this X is at. I'll put it at an angle and kind of put like a bevel on it. And then I'll take out what I need over here and then I can use that bevel as a, as a guide. So we'll go ahead and put our bevel on there and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. I tried to just put a little on at a time because how much ever bevel I put on is how much I want to try to take out. Whether you take the whole whole bevel out or not, you can still gauge how much you're taking out. Like I could just take out half of this, this bevel, but I think I'm going to need about all that. So now that I've laid my grinder this way, I'm now going to lay it this way to to actually grind down where my six inch is gonna meet my eight inch. I essentially just laid back the inside. That way the inside of our saddle would cope to the contour of the eight inch. Once I got that first piece fitting good, I was ready to make the template. All right, so my goal when making this template is to make sure well, I say that. I was gonna say to make sure this is square back here, which really, that is nice. Yeah, yeah, we'll say square. We got her pretty snug, pretty square, and I'm gonna take this pin, start drawing the inside of this. Okay, I should have done that first, by the way making a template out of a other template can be kind of confusing, but if I could do it over again, I would do that first before I marked it. So now I'm just checking it one more time, lining up my lines that I drew, and then, uh, and then I will mark the rest of it, because right here it didn't get marked because that other piece was on the inside here, so. I think we're pretty safe to go ahead and now start chop chopping. Oh, and another thing to note is that I put where they met, where they meet, in the center, which is another good reason that I found center of this saddle.
God. There we have it. Six inch on a 45 to eight inch. Six inch to eight inch on a 45. Come on with your bad self, ladies and gents. Your loaf of bread, Kev. Big old loaf of bread. All right, now that we've got our template made here, the first thing I'm gonna do is take my center finder and find center of each side. And one little thing I'm doing is I'm actually putting the seam in my throat of my pieces. That way you can't see that seam from the ground. I'm gonna put my center finder on the seam and then I'm gonna roll the pipe till it's level. Give her a little tap and then measure roughly 32 inches over yonder. Not touching my pipe, I'm gonna go ahead and make this level and then give it a punch mark. I can always check myself by coming over here, putting my punch in the punch mark and making sure this is seated good and it's still level. So now that we got our center, we can go ahead and make it more apparent by drawing a line. I could also be using a longer piece of angle, clearly. Now, for the exciting part, go ahead and put our template on. Putting my center part on my line, putting where my template meets, put that on my line. Take my hand, rub it around here, get any bubbles out, make sure it's on there good. And go ahead and mark. The saddle. Give it a little preheat. Start on the outside. That way I keep my good piece nice and clean and potentially with the least amount of tax in it. Starting out here and dragging to my line. I'm staying roughly on the outside of my line. That way I give myself room to dry and whatnot. Clean her up real line.
I used 332 7018 to tack these pieces in place. But then I used 532 8010 to weld out the bottom sections of this six inch. The top six welds, the two eight inch saddles and the four six inch saddles on a 45, we will not be welding here. Somebody else in Texas will weld those whenever they go to install the entrance. That's a done deal. Got our welds made. Now, next thing to do is cut these tacks here and here. And then this thing can be disassembled, more or less. But really, I'm probably going to leave it here for a couple days and just start working on the gates in my shop. I love it. Love it, love it. Just feels productive. What a satisfying project. I'm telling you, this is why I love what I do. It's so satisfying. I would love to fit pipe on all different kinds of saddles and angles, and I just... I just love the challenge. It's something that just, it was just so cool to get that to fit. I just love it. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for coming along with me today. Don't forget to check out the Aros Welding Inner Circle on our website, arosswelding.com under, I still don't know, resources tab, education, arosswelding.com, top right hand corner, the plus sign or the hamburger, depending on where you're searching at and uh, go check it out. Let us know what you think. If you have any questions about the Inner Circle, you can text them to 405-643-7176, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, and remember, learn something every day.